The final score of tonight's game, the LA Kings 3, the New Jersey Devils 2, though it was not for a lack of trying. We see the Devils score early in the first with a goal by Jesper Bratt and an assist from Severson. We then see Jesper Bratt score again in this period with another assist by Severson. This time he also has an assist from Jack Hughes. So between those two goals, we do see the Kings score one with a wrist shot from Alex Iofalo, and we end the period 2-1 Devils. Moving into the second period, the Devils' defense is really throwing themselves into things. They're defending their zone. They're going after what they want. They're being much more aggressive against what is known as an aggressive team tonight, which is really helping them. They look, they look much different than they did last night, and it really helps them in this period keep it scoreless because the Kings get a lot of shots on goal. Scoreless, that is, until four minutes left in the second period, where Arvidsson scores, assisted by Moore, bringing the score to 2-2, and they are tied. It is then an exciting last couple of minutes in the period as the Devils try to pull ahead and get some wiggle room going into the third, but they just can't do it. All in all, though, this period was not that exciting in terms of scoring, in terms of penalties, in terms of anything. It was just a lot of skating back and forth, though I do have to say there were some great defensive moves on both sides, specifically from the Devils. Then in period three, we see Carl Grundstrom score at 11.05 in the third with an assist from Brown, and the Devils are fighting their way back from this deficit, though they ultimately just can't do it. They pull the goalie with a couple of minutes left in the game to try and get that extra man and get those shots in. However, with about 30 seconds left in the game, they get a too many men on the ice penalty, and it is just game over. Unfortunately, they could not come back from this deficit tonight and win with the margin that they did last night, though like I said in the beginning, it was not for a lack of trying. The Devils tonight were much more aggressive than they were last night, especially in the first two periods. They were skating fast right from the get-go, and they were matching the physicality of the Kings. The Kings are known to be a big team, a heavy team, a very physical team, and the Devils were stepping up and answering it in all the ways that they could. I really enjoyed seeing the Devils use their body fully in blocks, in checks. They were doing everything that they could defensively, and that really helped out Gillies. Now, I have to mention, Gillies in net was pretty spectacular tonight. He looked a lot more confident tonight than he did last night, and I really enjoyed it. It was his second start in a row for the team, and unfortunately, he didn't win tonight, though he had many saves, especially since the Kings, at the start of the third period, had almost doubled the shots on goal that the Devils did. So that means that the Devils' defense was doing everything that they could and helping, and I am very, very uh, admirable about Gillies being able to make the saves that he could, and for his defense stepping up and being there and not making the margin of tonight's game larger than it was. I know that they will be out for blood, and they will be hungry for another win. When they play Tuesday against the Dallas Stars at the Prudential Center at 7 p.m., I will be there, and I am excited to see them come back and come hungry for those next two points in their journey to a hopeful playoff spot. For WFUV Sports, I'm Samantha Borer.